split base or New York or Dale de Groff's or modern or whatever you want to call it, yummy Sazerac. To make this, you'll need 30 ml of rye. Sazerac is the obvious choice here, but Knob Creek or Rittenhouse bottled in Bond work well as well. 30 ml of cognac. Pierre Ferrand is close to the original style, but a good quality brandy will also work. Around 7.5 ml of sugar syrup four dashes of Peychaud's bitters, and 10 to 15 ml of absinthe to rinse the glass. A lemon twist to garnish. You also need a jigger, a mixing glass or other rocks glass, a bar spoon, a julep strainer, a small rocks glass, and a shot glass. Prepare a small coin of lemon peel. Fill your serving glass with ice and add the absinthe, drizzling around as much as possible. Give it a stir and leave to chill. And that can just sit on the side here to do its thing. And then I put 7.5 ml of sugar syrup and then four good dashes of the Hero Peychaud's bitters. 30 ml of our rye, it smells so good. And then 30 ml of cognac. Then we'll just fill our mixing glass with some ice. And then we just give it a little stir by um, holding the back of your spoon against the inside of the glass. This one does take a, a nice bit of dilution. You know, both of the spirits are quite kind of strong and bold and can stand up to it. Delicious, it just went down the wrong way. <laughs> if you do want to serve your absinthe on the side, then you just hold the ice back and pour it into a little shot glass. And then uh, just use your julep strainer to hold the ice back in the mixing glass and give it a little pour into your absinthe rinse glass. Then give it a sharp twist over the top to get a little uh, light coating of lemon oils over the top there. And there you have a modern split base Sazerac. So now you know.